So I wanted to give you a little better 3D representation of the anatomical spaces that surround the posterior shoulder and the scapula. So I know very high tech here. What I want to do is first go over the landmarks. Remember that when we are looking at an anatomical spaces, we need to remember what the location is, what the borders are, and then what the contents are. And remember that these anatomical spaces are really and truly supposed to help you remember a lot of the contents. So this is going to be our teres minor. This will be our teres major. This large green structure will be the long head of the triceps. And this will be my lateral head of the triceps. Obviously, this is my humerus and this is my scapula. So the first space we're going to look at is going to be this triangular space. Remember that my borders are going to be the inferior margin of teres minor, the superior margin of teres major, and the medial border of the long head of the triceps. The contents, what's going to be in here, is going to be my circumflex scapular artery. Moving on to the quadrangular space, you guys can see a nice square made here. So remember, I have four sides, I'm going to have four borders. Now the lucky thing is that the quadrangular space has a very similar amount of borders and very similar names of borders than the triangular space. Inferior margin of teres minor is still going to be a border. Superior margin of teres major will also still be a border. The lateral head now of the long head of the triceps will be a border as well and the surgical neck of the humerus will be a border. My contents, what's going to be in here, is going to be my axillary nerve and posterior humeral circumflex artery. I'm sorry, posterior circumflex humeral artery. Moving on down here to the triangular interval, triceps hiatus, triangular hiatus. Remember, this goes by a lot of different names. Now I'm looking at long head of triceps being a border, lateral head of triceps being border, and teres major, the superior part, being a border. In this section, now I'm going to have my radial artery, I'm sorry, excuse me for that, radial nerve and brachial profunda artery. So hopefully that gives you a little better 3D representation of the anatomical spaces that surround my shoulder and surround my scapula.